Hello and welcome to another Blender tutorial brought to you by the Lewis Art. My name is Emmanuel Okafo and I hope you all are doing well. In this Blender tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys my process for binding the clothes onto a character. So one of you guys requested this in the last video in the comments. Um, you wanted to know how to be able to bind this onto your character. And that's what I'm going to be showing you today. So um, basically what we have so far, if I can go ahead and hide the clothes, um, we just have a basic character and I've rigged up the character to be able to be deformed by this amateur. If you're not familiar with the way you can bind it, basically if you have a character, if you have your amateur, um, you can select your character, shift select the amateur and hit control P, then you click with automatic weight. So we'll not be going into that. Um, basically what I'll be showing you today is how to be able to bind this onto your character. And I'm going to be showing you my own method, which I have been using for a while now, and it has it it has worked for me a lot um, because it, the result it produces is quite predictable because it's just copying the data, the vertex information from the already created um, the already binded skin, um, body onto the clothes. This enables um, it to work very predictable, as I said, and you have no penetration, and it just works off the back. And also it comes in handy for accessories on the cloth. Um, for example, we have buttons. And so si since we don't mind the buttons deforming slightly, um, then this method also works really well for it. So I'm, let me just go ahead and show you how it works. So the first thing you want to do is select your cloth mesh and we'll go to the modifier and we'll add data transfer modifier. This data transfer modifier is quite um, intuitive because it gives you the ability to transfer data from different objects. So for this instance, what we're trying to transfer is the vertex group data. If I select this cloth mesh and go into the vertex, data, vertex group, you can see we have nothing here. But if I select this mesh, you can see we have vertex groups. And these vertex groups are just basically influences um, that the bone is reading to be able to deform the ge the body geometry very well so basically what we want to do is to copy this vertex group data onto this cloth mesh so the way we'll do that is um, once we add the data transfer modifier it's going to ask you to input some parameters so we don't really need to go very in-depth um, for this tutorial you just need to just know very little parameters so it's going to ask you for the source so the source is basically this body that's this one Next, it's going to ask you for the kind of data you're trying to get. So we're trying to get the vertex data. So that's why we're going to check that. And under the vertex grid data, we're trying to get the vertex group. So we'll select that too. And for the mapping, we're going to select um, nearest group. So as you can see, we have ver um, various options and various things. So basically, it's kind of projecting this information onto the closest uh, mesh. Um, so we're going to use nearest vertex, so that's fine. Um, so if I click on this, you can see we have nothing here. So we can now click on generate data layers. So once you've generated that, you can now see we have vertex groups here. So importantly, um, you have to apply this modifier. So once you're done applying it, you want to go ahead and add your armature. For the armature, we'll select the appropriate one. Uh, so my personal preference, I usually like to check on preserve volume. So now if we select this amateur and go into pose mode, we can move this and you can see it's copying the exact movement of the underlying cloth and we have little to no penetration. But as you can see here, we kind of get some jagged edges and we can fix that easily by selecting the amateur, shift selecting the cloth, going into the weight paint so if we select the appropriate bone, you can see the influence of the weight. And you can see here, it's not quite smooth, so we need to smooth it. Um, to do that automatically, you can go here, you can click on weight and see smooth, and you can smooth it. Um, you can click on edit, adjust last operation, and play with the factor, so you can increase this factor. And you can see the influence taking place in the geometry. You could increase the iteration to smooth it even out even more. So as you can see, it's looking much better. 
so you might want to just go ahead and actually apply that smooth onto the entire weight depending on how much you need it okay so once you're happy with that um, for the final step if I select this amateur and move this um, okay so if I select this amateur and move this you can see the cloth is not falling along um, it was falling along because I kind of uh, I have worked on this earlier and so I kind of printed it already but by with your own assets it's definitely not going to fall along so you want to make sure you go ahead and parent this clothes to this in the object level so select this shift select this and hit ctrl p object so once you do that it's going to fall along in the object level and once you move it uh, so once you move it it works so uh, using the same pattern or uh, using the same trick we can go ahead and do the same thing for the bo uh, buttons so data transfer the source can be either the clothes or the character body so i'm just going to select the cloud and vertex data vertex group generate data apply it okay and now we can apply the amateur and that's that and finally we parent it onto the bone okay so now if we move this Let's clear, clear that. Okay, so for some reason the amateur was parented to the button. Um, yeah, so as you can see it's working and we can move this and you can see how the button is following along with the clothes and deforming nicely. So you of course you don't remove it too much because it's going to stretch the button but it's not so obvious in most cases um yeah so that's it guys i hope this was interesting and educative is that a word educational um if you wish to see more from me and if you're new don't forget to hit the subscribe button so thank you so much for watching this video bye bye for now see you next time